A powerful message from a bullied girl, Loretta Duchamp's true story. In primary school, Loretta was frequently bullied by one boy in particular. One day, she mustered the courage to tell the bus assistant that he had made fun of her. But the woman dismissed it with a laugh and reprimanded her while the other kids kept silent. The incident made Loretta believe that she couldn't rely on anyone, even adults. She gradually began hiding her feelings and pretending to be a normal kid despite feeling lonely, embarrassed, and traumatized. At age 12, Loretta started secondary school. She was hopeful that her awful school life would change, but the situation worsened. One day, a student loudly remarked, Ugh, Loretta is so ugly! Making the whole class fix their gaze on her. She felt her face turning red with humiliation and wished she could sink into the ground and disappear. Those words, though seemingly small, kept replaying in her mind. I'm ugly. I'm ugly. I'm so ugly. Her already low self-confidence plummeted. Over time, strong feelings of loneliness and insecurity compounded in her. However, deep down inside, Loretta still had the drive to overcome her situation. At the age of 13, she made an effort to attend a party. Unexpectedly though, without provocation or reason, a girl yanked her hair so hard that she almost fell over. Running home with tear-stained cheeks, many questions raced through her mind. Why me again? Why am I always the victim of bullying? Recalling all the terrible things she had endured, Loretta pondered various existential questions. What is the purpose of life? Did I come here to be tormented? Or do I have a purpose to fulfill that is still waiting for me to discover? During her teens, Loretta immersed herself in a spiritual quest. And one day, in 2006, when she was 19 years old, she attended a spiritual event where an elderly lady introduced her to Falun Dafa, a cultivation method guided by a book called Juan Falun. She learned that more than 100 million people around the world were reading Juan Falun, so she decided to give it a try. Loretta started reading, and the more she read, the more she couldn't put it down. She began to understand her past and felt relief as her questions about the meaning of life were answered one by one. Thanks to the book, Loretta realized the correct and only way for her to stop the effects of bullying. She stopped crying, stopped blaming, and started to change her inner self by following the principles of truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. She naturally smiled more and communicated more with other people. Gradually, Loretta felt stronger inside. Her wounds of low self-esteem, loneliness, fear, and anxiety disappeared. Optimism and forgiveness replaced thoughts of revenge. Whenever anyone was unfair, unkind, or cruel to her, Loretta learned to take those conflicts lightly and respond with kindness. Surprisingly, the more she practiced truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance, the more remarks of beauty, elegance, and sweetness she received. Loretta also practiced the five meditative exercises of Falun Dafa, which accompany the teachings. After several times of practicing the exercises, she felt a flow of energy making her calmer 
and more peaceful than anything she had ever experienced. Loretta had grown into a very happy and confident woman. Her happiness only grew when one day she met Yao, also a Falun Dafa practitioner. They fell in love and got married. They now have two beautiful children and live in the UK. Inner compassion and outer tolerance can easily make a new world, a better world. Shri Chinmoy.